So we came to the second gate. Yes, other gate. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jane Lawrence and I am that media girl. Today, my friend Swat invited me um, to River Plate. I heard they're doing a plantain festival, so we're about to go get. We're about to do it. In. We're about to do it. In. Go and eat plantain. We're about to go eat plantain. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, you know what is interesting about this whole stuff? Like. You know, plantain is just thought about like you know the only way we prepare plantain most of the time when you think about it is just fry it mm -hmm. and eat here. Yeah? Mm -hmm. But you're going to see different variety. Oh wow! I can't wait. So let me tell you something, eh? In this life, I feel like your friends are your wealth. It's very important for you to have friends that are very supportive, friends that are your shock absorbers, right? Swat is one of my shock absorber. <laughs> Swat is one of my shock absorbers <laughs> since I came to Abuja. But I, I swear, swear <laughs> this girl has my back through thick and thin. We fight, we quarrel, not all the time. How many times have we fought there? Hey, big time fights. <laughs> but this babe, hey, till we die, we're like this. That's the truth, I swear. So we're going to have fun, and I can't wait to show you. I can't wait to show you all of the fun. Yes, you guys, come, come, let's go eat come plantain. With us. Come with Let's go eat plantain. <laughs> oh my god. You feel like someone gonna leave up like this? This is so cool. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning. 
So yesterday was really amazing because I got to reconnect with my friends that I haven't seen in a while. It's so important to get connected with your friends because they're the ones that would uplift you when you're down, when the going is tough, when the road is steep and narrow. <laughs> so you need them in your life basically. If you don't keep in touch with your friends, how would they keep in touch with you? So it has to be a two-way street. and. Be able to decipher as well friends that are fake, friends that are just there to get and take and take away from you, but they are not impacting in your life in any shape or form. So you have to decipher what sort of friends that you keep because as you get older, you get more fake friends and your circle really needs to be like trimmed down. You don't necessarily have to have like a whole lot of friends for you to be popular, all right? Because it doesn't even make sense when you don't help you when you're in need, when you are in your darkest of times, all right? In any case, today I will be creating two contents for my Instagram page. It's been a while since I've created content for my Instagram page. So I got inspired to do a vintage look for the 70s and 80s. Um, I don't know if I got it right, but in any case, I will be plastering my wall with newspapers that i got from my previous organization they came in handy and i was like okay if i'm going to create a vintage look why not just have those newspapers plastered all over my wall and let's see if it will create a vintage or old aesthetic kind of look so my model for today will be habiba she's coming in and i will be doing her makeup for her and also um shooting she's a supermodel she is a supermodel here in Nigeria. So, uh, Habiba, you see how I'm hyping you. <laughs> so she will be my model and uh, we'll just create content. I'll be showing you the behind the scene for one of the video, which is the one that has the wallpaper as an aesthetic. And then we're going to do, on, I'm going to do another one, um, but just I would just show you the finished look nothing special about that and uh let's see if you like this sort of videos all right i would be creating more of this if you do like all i need is just you watching my videos watching my ads not just my videos so if you do have ad blocks please whenever you watch my channel whenever you watch my videos just take it out because um, I need you to know that this is where I'm getting my major source of income right now from YouTube because if you watch if you if you watch one of my videos you would know that I got laid off and um, it's really hard to get a job here in Nigeria <laughs> really hard and I am tired of working for people I just want to do my own thing create my own brand and just move forward with it so if you're watching my videos please turn on the ads watch my ads till the end because this is where i'm going to be able to generate enough money to buy proper camera i'm using my phone to record and buy lightings and um, reflectors and all of that good stuff that makes great video um, picture quality all right so do that for me and i'll be creating great content vlogging around abuja or vlogging around the world because i i just do not want to be restricted to vlogging in nigeria i want to be able to travel around the world and just showcase a lot of things and much more than what you see and much more than me talking about sex as a matter of fact i am growing so i would want you all to grow with me and be supportive i love the support that you're already giving me by subscribing by liking and sharing and commenting that's something i would never take from um you guys i'm so so appreciative of that in any case without me talking too much let's get right into it shall we <laughs> Thank you. 
Just love me, love you when your heart is hot. 